Hi, I'm Dr. Jim Grant, Senior Vice President and Chief Medical Officer of Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan. Anxiety levels in children and teens often rise in late summer and early fall, just as they get ready to go back to school. Anxiety may increase or even develop for the first time as families and schools prepare to return after the pandemic. Anxiety is a natural human response to a stressful situation. It's a survival mechanism that causes the body to elicit a fight or flight action to protect us in life-threatening situations, like a fire or an animal attack. There are many stressful but not life-threatening situations that can trigger a response. If these reactions occur repeatedly, they may result in episodic or chronic anxiety. Stress and anxiety might look different in children and teens than it does in adults. Some signs to monitor include increased crying or tantrums, physical complaints, changes in sleeping habit or demeanor, such as increased anger, irritability, or changes in eating habits. Parents, families, and caregivers play an important role in helping their children cope with increased stress or anxiety. You can help by remaining calm and reassuring, talking it out, providing space and time to act out stress behavior, doing something active, or distancing to give their mind a break. While some stress and anxiety is normal, there are times when children might need assistance from a behavioral therapist to manage their anxiety. Parents can talk with their child's doctor for recommendations on programs. You can find resources or learn more at our website.